at the end of the night, we sat there on stage as literally thousands of people filled the infield of the stadium, giving their lives to God. And to think that God could use our songs, our performance, uh, as part of that night is something that will always amaze us. <laughs> Our lives were um, dramatically affected just before the tour. We went into a prison on January 17th, which is Dr. Martin Luther King Day, to shoot a music video for our song called The Hard Way. We thought that life inside a prison would like be the perfect visual metaphor for the song. I mean, these guys were truly learning the hard way behind bars. And we thought this would illustrate the song's lyrics. What we weren't prepared for that day was how we would be affected. As we began to spend time with the prisoners, thinking that, oh, here's some guys, that, the ultimate scenario of some guys that had to learn the hard way in life. What became clear to us was that we have to learn the hard way in life every day, whether it's just simply even through judging them that day, but finding out they're different people than we thought. Kevin, Michael, and myself, we mess up every day. We stumble and fall. And although we're not serving life sentences, like some of the guys that we were with that day, we all have to pay the price for our mistakes. After we finished shooting the video, we had the privilege of performing a concert for those guys. The faces of the prisoners truly stayed with us throughout the Free At Last tour. And each night, as we performed the hard way, we couldn't help but be taken back to that cold day in Ionia, Michigan. I'll tell you what, we're gonna ask you guys, if you would, to hold the applause, hold the screams. We got something we wanna share with you. Some people gotta learn the hard way. I guess I'm the kind of guy who has to find out for myself I have to learn the hard way I'm on my knees and I'm crying for your
victim of the nature in me Left to myself I realize I am the maker of my own demise Will you accept me every time and again And never mention just how selfish I so long to see that I have fallen but you will forgive me. Yes, some people got along the hard way I guess I'm the kind of guy who has to find out for myself I have to learn the hard way and I'm on my knees and I'm a cry The entire hardware experience was especially significant for me because at the front of my mind throughout was my brother, Nathal. Nathal and I are only 13 months apart, and while we were very close growing up, it's very hard to know that some of our best years have been spent apart. He's been in and out of prison for the last 11 years. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> What was this, a maximum security facility? I think it was a maximum security facility. It was hard to get in. It's not easy to explain what that day was like, but it was amazing to just sit and listen to him talk about what he's been through and what he's learned. I can empathize with a bum on the corner because I have been out there. I can empathize with, you know, not knowing where I'm going to lay my head because I done slept in airports, you know, and every place else, subway stations. You know, I, I, I can empathize with someone being strung out because I've been strung out. I'm learning the hard way, and, and, and it's it's a bitter pill. I would it's not advisable for anybody to follow my lead. Here is a you know a classic case of when me and Michael grew up together. We slept in the same room, 
you know, slept side by side. I oftentimes, you know, sit on my bunk uh, down here and, I, you know, I miss, you know, the things, um, you know, that just being able to do with your family members, um, such as, you know, hanging out with Mike. Me and Mike have never had quality time together. Never. Never. You know, and I miss that. It hurts. It does. I mean, I'm smiling through it now, but, you know, I figure, you know, hey, like, if I wasn't in this environment, you know, I could be with him. I could be doing a lot of things. Yeah, I'm just hoping that, you know, this time, you know, me and Michael can become closer because in a lot of the letters that I have written him, I told him that's what my, you know, heart's desire is. It was great to be with Nathal that day, but nothing can really replace the time we've lost. I can only hope that when he does get out, we can somehow pick up where we left off. We want to be a family. Uh, we want to be very much, when we take the stage, we take it together, and we're focused as a team. Meaning all my boys of the world get go And being there for them to 